guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you a tag video. I was tagged by the lovely Miss Sarah. I will tag her channel and video down below. This is 10 fragrances under $30, um, and I really kind of did struggle with this just because um, picking my favorite celebrity fragrances or just my favorite fragrances out of my collection that I wanted to feature with you guys but have them be under $30 was hard because anything I was like oh I bet you this is it'd be right over $30 and I couldn't do it so and then I started like diving into it and really thinking about it and I found some really 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 good picks for you guys um first things first though I hope you guys notice a little bit of a difference in everything kind of going on here um with quarantine I was able to kind of redo the room a little bit and I got this half of the room finished um, I still have to finish some other stuff, but a collection video will be coming soon. So, without further ado, here is 10 perfumes under $30 um, tag video. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, these are not in any particular order. These are just kind of grab and talk about them. First one I'm just going to grab and talk about is Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy. This is Ariana Grande's second main perfume, third one if you count Frankie in between. Um, but this is her second pillar of fragrance. It is, like, blackberries and whipped cream. It is a super, super good fragrance. It lasts a very, very long time. Um, very sharp on the fruitiness and very creamy on the whipped cream end. And something about this fragrance is it is, like, it kind of has that typical celebrity fragrance to it. Um, but it's a little bit more candied-esque, so if you're not into something a little bit more heavy like Britney Spears Fantasy this would be nice because it isn't as like heavy and dark as Fantasy would be. Next we have New York Woman by Pure Police. So this is the best blind buy I've ever purchased. This smells a lot like um pink sugar. If you remove the burntness of pink sugar and add in a green apple note that is exactly what this smells like. You can pick this up on eBay for under 20 bucks and it is a really, really good blind buy. So if you want something that's sweet and kind of a little bit different, try this one. Next is Eau de Gaga. This is Leather Lime. It is a really, really good unisex fragrance. Definitely more on the masculine side than the feminine side. But it's super clean, super fresh, very clean line fragrance. Um, and you can find this for like 15 bucks at, at like TG Maxx, Marshalls, eBay. Um, it's a really, really good pickup, and if you like unisex and kind of like clean fragrances, this would be a really good pickup. Next is Jennifer Aniston's Chapter One. You can find this, again, on eBay or online, about 15, 20 bucks. Um, I've heard this smells very similar to Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. I've never smelled that, so I couldn't tell you, but I really, really like this one. It smells like a cashmere blanket. It smells like a cashmere like cable, like cable knit sweater. It's so good. I really, really like this one. It's very good for like fall nights, but very good for like all day as well. Next is Justin Bieber's Collector's Edition. I almost wanted to call this the Key Collector's Edition, but technically it is just the Collector's Edition. Um, this is a really, really good light fragrance. It's got some pears and some light, nice light white florals in it, if I can speak. Um, this it's going to be right around that $30. So this you can find for like a 1.7 ounce under $30. But if you want the full size bottle, it is going to run you slightly over $30. Um, but if you take out the name, this is a really, 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 really nice fragrance. I've thought about doing a whole video going into like ranting about celebrity fragrances just because I feel like they do get a bad rap a lot of the time. And especially with Bieber. If you ignore that this is a Bieber fragrance and just smell it, it is an amazing, amazing fragrance. And especially for how cheap it is. Up next is Carmen Electra's Carmen Electra or Ruhr, depending on what you call it. I do believe it technically is just called Carmen Electra. This is a $30, under $30 you can probably get this for like 10, 15 bucks, honestly. But this is a very, very cheap, good um, alternative to Viva La Juicy. It smells basically exactly like Viva La Juicy, and it lasts about the same amount of time. Um, some people, it does have a little bit of a hard time lasting on their skin. Just depends on your body chemistry. Um, but I've heard other people it lasts, you know, upwards of 12 hours. So, and the bottle is super thin, so it's something that you could just throw into your purse. And with this hard metal cap, or hard plastic cap, it's not metal, plastic, um, not something you have to worry about really getting damaged in your purse. Next is Rihanna's Kiss. This is 
like 20 bucks. White Florals Plum Musk. Beautiful fragrance. Um, I love this fragrance. It is so, 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 so good. It's very creamy. That plum gives it this beautiful edge that's very different. Very sophisticated. And the bottle's gorgeous. Very weighted. Very heavy. It's just a really, really, really nice fragrance. Definitely something I would like to see more people try out. Um, just because it is a little bit of a different white floral than typically done. And it's under 20 bucks, so it's really, really accessible. Next is Guess 1981. This is only the 1.7 ounce. Um, you can get the 30 mil or the 100 mil for under $30, guaranteed. This smells like a magazine. It's a very simple fragrance. It's very easy. If you just want to pop something on and not think about it, this is perfect for it. But to me, it smells like a magazine, and I love fragrances that smell like magazines. Um, and this has like violet in it. I love violet in fragrances. This is just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, definitely easy to wear, cheap, inoffensive. So if you want something quick and an easy blind buy, that's a really good one. Next is Live Lux by Jennifer Lopez. I feel like this one everybody has in their collection. If they don't, it's super cheap, super easy to add to your collection. Very fresh, very effervescent, very bright, very clean, very fruity. It's a really, really nice fragrance that lasts quite a long time. And it is great for the summer. It's very tropical, very kind of almost boozy, but not at the same time. So very clean, very fresh, very fruity. Great, great fragrance, Jennifer and or Jennifer Lopez, the Lux. And finally, we have Britney Spears' Fantasy in Bloom. So this is, to me, it smells like cherry dryer sheets. If you've ever smelled a Scottish cherry in the air, it smells almost identical to cherry in the air with that kind of like dryer no, dryer sheet no added to it. Um, there's something about this fragrance I'm just obsessed with. Um, it runs very, very close to being uh, my favorite cherry fragrance, but it's got a cherry in the air. Beats it just because it's a little bit more tart. Um, but it's a Britney Spears fragrance. You can get them for under $20, under $30, depending on which one you want. They're super cheap fragrances, super easy to pick up. And probably the pinnacle of celebrity fragrances, honestly. Her fragrances you really can't go wrong with. They're all very, very inoffensive. They're all very cheap. Um, but most of them, like, they don't smell cheap, but they do smell cheap. Like, if you, you're not going to get high-class sophistication out of a Britney Spears fragrance. But you're not looking for that out of her line as well. So, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 videos of fragrances under $30. I cannot speak today. I am so sorry. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ava S. Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the search perfume. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much to Sarah for tagging me in this video. And I would like to tag Rhonda Larisse. Um, who else would I would like to tag? You know, I probably should have came prepared with people to tag. Um, Rhonda Larisse. Who else do I watch? I don't know. Rhonda's like the only one I can think like to ask to do this. If you're on Instagram and you want to do this, do it. I have a couple people who follow me on Instagram and you guys know exactly who you are. Um, who are kind of YouTube or fragrance reviewers, fragrance people. So... Um, you guys are tagged in this as well. So, otherwise, I would love to see your guys' picks as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. It is Perfume and Instagram. Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. I've already done this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.